Hey guys, I got a uh, kind of a hybrid build here for you today. This is my uh, uh, pretty much the highest DPS I could pump out of a tank build. So uh, this is the I'm gonna do the the build here first. So this is the build. It's got uh, temporal mechanics on it. So uh, good news, uh, they're uh, tomorrow they're um, fixing the hitboxes and the hit points on them. So that'll be great. We got uh, double cunning in here. First of all, crits are very important on this build. Full bore chamber for uh, top average DPS. Captain's grip, of course, is a must. Tac mag is a must for this build. Uh, now the Valamir bond is absolutely fantastic for tank builds because uh, the tough cell reduces the cooldown on it by, I believe, 3 seconds. And it's normally 10 seconds, so it's reducing it 30%. So that's a pretty big uh, damage increase right there out of that. So because we're running tough, we're sticking that in there. And we got tough is doing other stuff in this build. In fact, uh, uh, I think at least one other thing here. So uh, we got Bastion for the shields and not only uh, the shields that it generates, but also 15% more shields from other things. So that's fantastic. Uh, you never want to use the active ability on this build unless uh, you're using it as a killing blow. Like you really know they're about to die. Then go ahead and blow that slam. Otherwise, keep it uh, keep it up. Uh, the Skarn Lantern, of course, is for more shields. The more shields you have, the higher critical hit rate you have, because Galvanized, we'll go over that in a second. Uh, here's the parts and what I got in them. Pred, Galv, Double Tough, Double Tenacious, and Pred and Galv. Now I'm going to go over the perk summary here and explain everything. Uh, cunning is pretty obvious. Most of that is for the critical strike damage, but the 10% critical strike chance is always nice too. But most of our critical strike chance is coming from Galvanized, uh, which is of course giving you 2% uh, per 100 shields that you have, which is pretty great. And then of course also the 15% critical strike damage, giving you almost double damage off of your well, add an extra 50% that double. Uh, so 50% more damage on your crits, which is fantastic. Uh, Pred, of course, is still uh, an important thing to have. Yes, it's a tank build, but you still want to try to not take damage because those shields are the main source of your damage output on this build. If you're not critting regularly, you are not uh, obviously doing nearly as much DPS as you could be. So still try to keep that Pred bonus up. Tenacious, of course, is uh, the other thing that uh, Tough is benefiting here. You get 2% damage for every 100 hit points. So Tough is also giving you 10% more damage on top of the 22% that you're getting uh, from your health to start with. So uh, that pretty much just into Tough right there. Um, and then uh, Ether Hunter is from the Bond. And Cascade is for the um, any any healing you need, but the power uh, boosts are also really nice. You could run Molten on the build. In fact, I would recommend running Molten if you're doing Hunting Grounds, uh, but not if you're doing try or uh, not, uh, but not if you're doing Escalations because the Escalation should be boosting your attack speed up pretty high already, and we don't want to hit that attack speed cap. Uh, for tonics, I recommend uh, Frenzy, Blitz, and if you really want to, Bulwark. Uh, if you do get hit, it'll help reduce how much shield damage you take and help keep your critical hit rate up. But uh, with that, let's kind of get into combat and uh, go over uh, some tips here. One, just constantly spam your lantern. Always. It's, uh, it's really going to help. Uh, you don't ever need the the shields up really high, or not the shields up the um. You don't you don't ever really need to focus on doing damage with the uh with the ability. Here, let me actually turn my audio down. 
kind of forgot to do that before the video here. Um, yeah, you don't you don't need to worry about uh, uh, blowing your lantern for specific things. Just uh, kind of use it as frequently as possible to keep your shields up. And then, especially the red orbs, uh, they never go away. There's no time limit on how long the buff lasts. So just feel free to spam it and grab one or let other people grab one or do something of that nature. Yeah, let's see if I can get some of these other legs in. Oh, that's a phalanx back there. It hit me with a ranged attack. I was wondering what hit me from back there. thought it was a Skarn for a second. I almost got hit by that leg. Ah. I keep thinking he's going to do the, the final big sweep like Shroud does, but... Phalanx does not, in fact, do that. So. Ah, oh, he is faster than he looks, though. Ah! Alright, buddy. One more. There we go. Uh, now, if you look at my my damage numbers you should be able to see how frequently I'm critting here it's a pretty decent rate give me uh, executioner uh, now if you wanted you could um, you could probably also swap out uh, Assassin's Frenzy for Cascade 6, and the green orbs would then give you a permanent 100 shield stack. Uh, as long as you don't get hit, you keep that 100 st uh, shield stack forever. It doesn't have a time limit on it, unlike all the other shields in the game. So uh, it is kind of fun for that reason. Ah, come on, I really thought I could get that last shot off. Oh, give me an empowered reload. There we go. Nice, satisfying head-to-tail shot. You're gonna... Yep. Now he's dashing forward. Yep, couldn't... Couldn't get out of that animation lock fast enough. Oh, the weak spot moved already. I didn't see it. I wonder I was doing crap damage to his head. Ah, I hate when he does that. But yeah, there's really no consequence to uh, getting hit other than losing your pride. Like, typically you have more shields than you know what to do with. And they just regenerate, you know, <laughs> very quickly. So you don't even got to worry about it. Wow, these are all kind of terrible. All right, I guess I'll just take overclock and hope for critical dominion for the boss. Or not critical to me, uh, the other one that was just there. No, nope, no reds. Actually, I think I still have my full red stack from up there. Yep. It's that third buff right there with the number three in it. That's my red orb stack. I think I got both of them with that. Aw, boo. Oh, come on. Only downside to this is you don't really have way to knock these behemoths out of their, their attacks. Why? Well, I totally can't even see where I'm at. Come on. Stupid camera. Let's see if I can perp-rate perp chain this uh, Shrike. 
Nope. Alright, now that he's turned around, let's do it. No way- Ooh, that's all kinds of not fun for me right there. Alright, just knock me around like a damn ragdoll. Come on! Alright. That was horrible, horrible dodging on my part. And I still landed with fall and these shields, man. This build is just... It, you're impossible to freaking kill. Like, unless you're really trying or you're really underleveled for what you're doing. Like, there's really just no way for you to die. You're gonna kill stuff a little slower than with most of my other builds, but man. You, uh... Normally I'd bait the boop on this, but I'm just gonna go straight into murdering him since I don't have any way to boop. Because I don't want to blow all my shields. Ow. Oh, come on, let me get a freaking charge off you more than like once an hour. There we go. Uh, you still want to try to focus on getting part breaks with this build because that's your uh, source of Assassin's Frenzy. Unless of course you're not running. Ooh, I pulled too far. Unless of course you're not running Assassin's Frenzy. That doesn't matter. But uh, if you are, which I recommend, then definitely do that. Unless he's being a dick and doesn't let you go through his walk through his claw, like I wanted to try to do right there. Alright. It was still enough damage to kill him before he even got to phase two, so uh, that just kind of shows you that it's still a pretty high damage build. And with that, I will catch you guys later.